A steep mountain is inclined 72 degrees to the horizontal and rises to a height of 3,500 feet above the surrounding plain. So using this first sentence, we can model the mountain using this right triangle here, or half of the mountain, where the angle of inclination is 72 degrees, labeled here, and the height of the mountain would be 3,500 feet. A cable car is to be installed running to the top of the mountain from a point 800 feet out in the plain from the base of the mountain. So the length of side AD here would be 800 feet, so point D is where the cable car would start, and from here it runs to the top of the mountain at point B. So side BD represents the path of the cable car, and our goal is to find the shortest length of the cable needed, or the length of side BD. So let's go ahead and label side BD side C. Now looking at our diagram, notice how we have this right triangle, triangle ABC, and we also have this obtuse triangle, triangle ABD. So it'll take us two steps to find the length of side C. We'll eventually apply the law of cosines using this obtuse triangle, but before we do this, we need to gather some additional information. First, notice how the angle here that measures 72 degrees and angle BAD would be supplementary or form a straight angle, and therefore their sum must be 180 degrees, which means angle BAD would be equal to 180 degrees minus 72 degrees, or 108 degrees. So this angle here is 108 degrees. But now before we can apply the law of cosines to this obtuse triangle to find the length of side C, since we'll be using this angle that measures 108 degrees, we have to know the length of the two sides that form this angle. Well, we know side AD is 800 feet, but we don't know the length of side AB. So let's label side AB side M, and we can find the length of M using the right triangle, triangle ABC, and right triangle trigonometry. Using the angle that measures 72 degrees, notice how we know the measure of the opposite side is 3,500 feet, and side M would be the hypotenuse. So because we're using the opposite side and hypotenuse, we can use the sine function to determine the length of side M. The sine of 72 degrees must be equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, or in this case, 3,500 divided by M. Now remember, we can do this because we are working with a right triangle. And now to solve for M, we would multiply both sides by M, which would give us M times sine 72 degrees equals 3,500. Divide both sides by sine 72 degrees. And now we'll go to the calculator to determine this quotient. We should first verify that we are in degree mode, so we'll press the mode key. Notice how degree is highlighted, so we'll go back to the home screen and enter 3,500 divided by sine 72 degrees. So M is approximately 3,680.12 feet. Let's go ahead and label this in our diagram. And now using the obtuse triangle, or this orange triangle here, we can apply the law of cosines to determine the length of side C. Let's set this up on the next slide. The law of cosines is given here below. The main thing to remember here is that if we use side A here on the left, the relationship is that angle A would be opposite side A, and the sides that form angle A would be sides B and C. So if we want to find the length of BD, which we called side C, we would use the law of cosines in the form C squared equals the two other sides would be AD and side AB. So we'd have the length of AD squared plus the length of AB squared minus two times the length of AD 
times the length of AB times cosine of the angle opposite side C, which measures 108 degrees. Now we'll fill in the known values. We'd have C squared equals AD squared would be 800 squared plus AB squared is 3680.12 squared minus two times 800 times 3680.12 times cosine 108 degrees. And now we'll go back to the calculator to determine C squared. We already know we're in degree mode, so we'll press 800 squared plus 3680.12 squared minus two times 800 times 3680.12 times cosine 108 degrees. And we already know we're in degree mode, so we'll press enter. So C squared is equal to 16,238,034.61. And now we know C is a length, so C has to be positive. So we'll take the principal square root of both sides of the equation. And now we'll go back to the calculator. Remember, taking the square root is the same as raising something to the one-half power. So because we have this value already in the calculator, we could just press the exponent key of the caret and then raise the previous answer to the one-half power and enter. Notice how this would be equivalent to taking the square root of 16,238,034.61. Either way, C is approximately 4,000.35 feet. Which is the shortest length of the cable needed for the cable car. Which again is the length of side C. This is approximately 4,000.35 feet. I hope you found this helpful.